fourth straight victory. They did it without Kevin Durant. So many questions about how the chemistry would work on this team, Sarah, with Kyrie Irving and James Harden and Kevin Durant. Well, you still have two superstars, even if KD isn't playing, and everything worked at an exceptionally high level offensively against the Thunder. The superstars were superstars, but they also facilitated and organized things for everyone yeah. else. Think about the fact that there was nine Brooklyn Nets players in double figures. You had three that had 20 or more points and Joe Harris, Kyrie Irving, and James Harden, and Bruce Brown had 19 points, 33 assists. There was a nice balance between when players were aggressive, looking for their own shots, finding teammates. You saw a lot of ball movement, body movement. I think so much of this was generated on the job and the energy they were giving on the defense end so when both sides were clicking you see a game and a score like here tonight they established the paint very early and that carried over throughout the game rebounding numbers were in favor of Brooklyn so a couple of tones were set and there's no doubt Steve Nash made it very clear to his team the Thunder had their way with the Nets in the first meeting in the second half uh, there was a pride factor and there was revenge on the mind of Brooklyn and they took it out on a young Thunder team that Made a couple of runs, but ultimately uh, the team couldn't make a real push against the Nets. The Nets always kept them at arm's length. That's the growth that you want to see out of this group. And early on, they've talked about themselves being a young team in their time together. Yep. But as games have gone on, you've seen the way that they start to understand each other, understand the nuances throughout the course of the game. And to your point, that they put that pressure on consistently, a sustained level of effort throughout this game. We saw some tweaks, of course, Kevin Durant being out of the lineup. But with how Steve Nash was using his combinations, the rotations, Kyrie Irving anchoring that second and you didn't, as opposed to James Harden here tonight. But a, a different opportunities for players. Landry Shamit back in the lineup. TLC, some more looks than he had been having. So that's what you want to see because, of course, this is just one game, but it's a game within the course of their growth of the season. It was a nice step. Loss earlier this season to Atlanta. The Nets go on the road, beat the Hawks. Loss earlier this season to the Thunder. Nets go on the road and beat Oklahoma City. Same setup with the Washington Wizards now on the schedule on Sunday. Nets fell on a tight one to Washington earlier this season. And the Wizards have been struggling, no doubt, and they've also dealt with some issues in postponement because of COVID. Mm -hmm. However, Bradley Beal is absolutely balling out. He has been exceptional. Of course, there will be a reunion here as James Harden gets to see Russell Westbrook again, Kevin Durant as well. And so for Washington, as they're a team trying to find their way, they're going to come in with a level of motivation and one that the Nets, third game of this road trip, will have to match. Historic offensive night for the Nets. They match their highest total ever in regulation with the victory over the Thunder.